Hi everyone, my name is Elena Cordova and I will be reading to you an excerpt from the novel that I started writing called Calliope. Um, briefly, Calliope is about a 16 year old girl named Calliope who is growing up in the Great Depression time era. Basically, her father loses his job due to the stock market crash, which forces her family to pack up their things and migrate from New Mexico to southern, I mean, <laughs> to Colorado. I wrote this novel in diary entry form in order for the reader to understand this situation through the eyes of a teenager instead of in third person. Thank you. I was shocked when my mother first told me that my father had lost his job. My father was always loved at his work, so I couldn't imagine what he could have done to lose it. He earned enough money to support the whole family. He worked fair hours, and his boss liked him. My father had worked hard to become a successful banker. Before my mother sat and talked to me, I thought that father would be able to find a different job easily, but as it turns out, nothing is that simple. Mother came in my room to talk. We have to leave town, she said, as she took the braid out of my hair. She gently combed through my hair with her fingers. Your father has been searching, and he cannot find a single place with a job for him. My heart began to race. You mean we're moving to a new city? What about our apartment? And school? Where will we live? And how did this even happen? My, I began to blurt out question after question until my mother held my hand and told me to quiet down. She began to tie my hair in a braid, just as she had done for all of my life. She knows that it has always soothed me. Not just a new town, but a new state. Your father was given a flyer that guarantees farm jobs for all of us on a melon farm in Colorado. We have to move there, Callie. We need the money, she explained with an ashamed look on her face. She knew that her husband, a successful banker, deserves a better job than as a farmer. We have to pack all of our things and load them onto the car. We should be gone by next week. I'm sorry, sweetie, but you can't go to school in Colorado. You need to work on the farm. Mother and I sat and talked for a while longer. She explained to me that we needed the money, especially since all five of us needed to be fed. The bank had lost all of our savings, so we were left only with the cash we have. So in order for our family to survive, we have to find work. I wondered how this could be. When one loses their job, has all hope been lost? Weeks ago, I heard of a girl in my class whose family migrated west in search of work. In fact, I ignored the story that was spreading around my homeroom class because I was so preoccupied with my schoolwork, and the thought of abruptly leaving school made me anxious. The girl who was in my class is my age. She became dirt poor out of nowhere and moved to a different city quickly after. It was all so sudden. I heard rumors about her living out of her car with her mother and father. There were even rumors spreading about her having to dig in the trash to find food because they were so hungry. Only now am I realizing that it is likely that I will be doing the same. Mother told me that if we don't go as soon as possible, someone might take the jobs and we'll be out of luck and in a terrible situation. Just the thought of it makes me shake with fear. And so my questions are, how many words did you write? I wrote 13,100 words over the course of three weeks. Uh, how long did this take you? It took about three weeks writing at least 500 words a day. Some days I wrote 1,000 or 2,000, and then I didn't write for a few days after that. But our, I think, minimum was 12,000. So, yeah. And what was the hardest part? I think the hardest part was taking time out of every day or trying to to start writing and especially when you got writer's block and you had no idea what to write it just took forever and just a lot of hours of you sitting there thinking what to write or getting distracted and not really focusing it was really hard to focus on writing your novel day after day um, but when you start it comes pretty easily and I think what worked best for me was making a plan before I started writing, before I sat down at home and started writing, I would get a piece of paper and jot down notes of what I would be writing that day and like writing everything I would cover in the diary entry, for instance, for that day. <laughs> Thank you.
for listening.